Which propeller should you use? 3 blade or 2 blade? In this video we will put the leading 3.5 inch 3 blade propeller in both performance and efficiency against a 2 blade released by the same company earlier this year and compare them on both the bench and in the air. Recursion Labs For Science this testing will be conducted on my updated variable controlled motor testing methodology, which you can learn more about in the video linked in the description. These tests were conducted at 16 volts to emulate a 4S battery. The test will be conducted on the current mid-size sub 250 gram liter, the T motor at 1404 or 3800 kV motor. The three blade propeller is the HQ Prop 3 blade 2.5 inch pitch polycarbonate propeller, which will be put up against the HQ Prop 2 blade 2.2 inch pitch polycarbonate propeller. The two blade propeller comes in at 1.082 gram which is 32% lighter than the 3 blade propeller which comes in at 1.597 grams. This is more than a 2 gram savings across 4 propellers. We can see in blue that the lighter 2 blade prop can spin faster across the throttle range and at the top end spins 14% faster than the 3 blade. Faster RPMs can be great but can the additional blade make up for the loss of propeller speed? In thrust! Yes, yes it can. We can see that the 3 blade propeller has a clear and smooth performance lead across the entire throttle range and looking at the thrust thrust differential analysis, where the blue represents the thrust of a single motor, and the orange the thrust of all four motors, we can see that the thrust differential starts at about 4.4 grams per motor at the low end, and peaks at around 32 grams per motor, or 127 grams for four motors at near 80% throttle. Looking at the increase in terms of percentage, at the low end it starts off at a near 35% increase in thrust, which diminishes at a higher throttle to as low as 7%. This is a difference of a decrease of about 0.8 thrust to weight ratio on a scythe, which should be noticeable. Three blades producing more thrust is not exactly a surprise, but does the extra blade reduce efficiency? Now, this is interesting. At the start of the throttle range where the three blade produced the highest thrust differential in terms of percentage, the two blade is less efficient while producing less thrust until about 35%, which is the area you'd likely see your throttle under for casual flying most of the time. After that, the efficiency steadily increases. This is a different view seeing the loss or gain of efficiency of the two blade against the three blade, where below the middle is a loss of efficiency and above the middle is a gain of efficiency. Now for the best performance to efficiency comparative chart, where we will compare the watts of power required to generate each gram of thrust. At the top end, the two blade in blue does come out as being more efficient beyond 120 grams of thrust per motor. Enhance. For the first 95 grams of thrust, the three blade is more efficient for a total of around 380 grams of thrust for all four motors, but the two blade takes the lead beyond that. Taking a look at the same time it takes for both propellers to spin up to 95% throttle, the two blade does appear to have a slightly sharper curve to get to the target RPM, but the difference doesn't appear to be significant. I've received feedback asking to see the thrust curve for the spin-up instead of RPM, but this isn't directly possible since while the RPM is measured at a fast rate, thrust is only captured five times per second. Then I remember that I have accurately measured the thrust in small increments and have written code to correlate the RPM from the spin-up curve to the RPM and thrust measured during the testing. The graph here shows the result of that correlation, and it does help demonstrate that the spin-up curve, when measured in thrust, is fairly similar. And I can produce this analysis easily moving forward. Awesome. How about in flight? I put two sets of props on identical scythe builds to fly them back to back to see how they performed and felt in the air. If I just flew the two blade propellers, I'd say that I would be very happy with how it flew, but every time I switched to the three blade, it felt like taking a heavy backpack off in the middle of climbing up a mountain. The quad felt more performance, and quite frankly, it was more enjoyable to fly over the two blade. I noticed that the two blade propeller made a very noticeable amount of additional noise, which makes sense since the props would spin fast to achieve the same amount of thrust, but would also have a higher RPM at the top end while producing less thrust. I guess we could say that the two blade has a higher noise to thrust ratio. Yeah. So, do these props make sense? I'm not so sure to be honest, at least if your motors can properly drive the three blade. There might be an argument to use these for long range flights where you don't need the additional thrust at the top end, but given the propeller is less efficient at the low end that you'd likely be cruising at, I question if it would actually be better in this situation, unless you knew you would be cruising at a higher throttle position. For me Personally, I'm sticking to the three blade. Greater low end efficiency where I'd spend most of my time cruising with greater overall performance seems worth having 10% reduced efficiency at the top end. Let me know what you think in the comments.